First up for Dwight, I'm gonna go with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You know, he's a leader, he's proven himself, and I just feel like he could really bond with the character. We might have to make the lockers a bit bigger, but that sounds like a problem for production. For Meg, I gotta go with Zendaya. So hot right now. And she has plenty of experience playing traditionally red-headed white women. Claudette will obviously be played by this shrubbery, but her voice lines will be delivered by none other than Christian Shaw of Bob's Burgers. Stop! For Jake, I gotta cast this dude. His performance in Squid Game where he yells a lot and wastes time in every challenge reminds me a lot of the Jake mains I've played with. Next we have Nia. She'll be played by Amber Heard, who is best known for being toxic and abusive. So just give her a flashlight and I'm sure she'll figure it out. Now I know that Jamie Lee Curtis is a bit old for the young Laurie Strode role. So we look for a young, strong actress in the form of Ariana Grande. For Ace Biscotti, we needed an actor who knew the ins and outs of gambling and possibly addiction as well, so Tobey Maguire should fit perfectly here. And in the spirit of casting Spider-Man actors, Willem, or should I say Billum, Defoe will play the role of Bill Overbeck. Now Fang Min needed to be cute but also completely capable of pure evil, so I'm gonna go with Ariana Grande here. David King needs to be a tough, no-nonsense type of guy who never backs down from a fight, so here I'm going with Mac from Always Sunny, who is an expert in kung fu, backflips, and ocular pat-downs. The old Quentin would probably be played by Steve Buscemi, but with his updated looks, he will now be played by Steve Buscemi, who he already locked into a contract before the change. David Tapp is a grizzled detective stuck in the twisted, nightmarish world of Saw, so I can think of no better actor than comedian Chris Rock to bring the serious demeanor needed for the character. Kate Denson is the standard pretty girl of the game, played by many male gamers in as skimpy of cosmetics as possible. However, in modern Hollywood, she needs to bring a bit more than that to the table. So for Kate's role, we've casted hilarious comedian Amy Schumer, who will be improvising all of her lines. Adam Francis is a black school teacher in Japan, so in order to identify with the character, we've casted Robert Downey Jr who played a black rice farmer in Vietnam. Jeff is a tall, imposing, bearded survivor, and when you need someone like that, you call Tom Cruise. Jane Romero will be played by Lisa Ann, and while I'm not personally familiar with her work, the set photos of her playing Sarah Palin prove that she has the stature and the assets to play the likes of Jane. Ash Williams, what a great original character by behavior. I don't know if there's an actor alive who can faithfully bring Ash to the big screen, but we're giving it our best shot by casting seasoned actor Daniel Day-Lewis, who, as a method actor, will be cutting off his own hand before production begins. Nancy Wheeler's small, skinny frame will be played by upcoming star Timothy Chalamet, whose jaw and cheekbones are perfect for the role. Steve Harrington will be played by Danny DeVito, for the role of Yui Kimura, we needed an actress who has experience playing strong Japanese women, so Scarlett Johansson is the perfect casting here. Zarina Kassir is a confident and intelligent documentarian, so we chose Ariana Grande to bring depth and power to her character. On the flip side, Cheryl Mason is impulsive and caring, so we casted Miley Cyrus because she has the same hairstyle and can also be impulsive and caring. Felix is a smart German architect, so we casted the smartest German we could think of in Christoph Waltz, who also knows a thing or two about architecture. You shall bring them underneath your floorboards, aren't you? Elodie Ricotto will be played by Tia Dalma of the Pirates of the Caribbean documentaries. I know what you're thinking, but it's actually a common misconception that these are Hollywood films. They were actually shot live, and all of these characters exist. Yoon Jin Lee will be played by Asa Akira, and though I'm not familiar with her work either, I've been told that she has experience making similar noises to Yoon Jin. Jill Valentine has been through a lot in the Resident Evil franchise, so Kristen Stewart should be able to bring all of the depth and emotion that her character has built up over the years. Leon Kennedy will need a bad boy and teen heartthrob to bring him to life on the big screen, so Nicolas Cage should suit the role perfectly. Michaela Reed will be played by this Wojak, and her lines will be taken from Reddit comments in the Witches vs. Patriarchy subreddit. Finally, we have Jonah Vasquez. He's Spanish, he has a goatee, he wears headphones, occasionally a tank top, and it would be silly not to have one of the biggest Dead by Daylight streamers have a cameo in this film, so he will be played by Noob3.